Hello and welcome to my very first plan with me. Um, I've really gotten into watching these plan with me's over the past few months so I wanted to give it a shot as well. I'm really new to this whole video thing, video editing, so I have no idea how this is going to turn out. Um, fingers crossed it'll turn out well though. So the week I wanted to plan is the second week of May. So it's still about three weeks away, but this is my graduation week. So I was just really excited to plan this and I just wanted to make it really pretty. Um, the planner I'm currently using is the Happy Planner. And this is one of the 2015 to 2016 versions. So the spread I wanted to use today um, is one that I bought online. So this is a printable kit from Brittany N Designs. And I just thought this was really pretty. I'd use this spread for one other week in April and I thought it turned out really well and that it would be really fitting for graduation. Um, just something about the navy and the balloons just kind of gave me a little bit of a graduation feel. So we're gonna try that. And I actually accidentally printed off two sheets of the um, full boxes, but that might actually work out well because then I can use the decorative full boxes and kind of stack them because these stickers are made for the Erin Condren which the Happy Planner do have a little bit wider boxes. And then I did want to add in this little um, deco sheet I guess that I got from Michaels. Um, this is I think usually meant for scrapbooking but um, I thought it was really cute. A little cap and gown so I wanted to add that in too just to commemorate the event. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut these all out first and then I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I finished cutting everything out, I'm not gonna lie, that took probably more than half an hour. Um, it is a pretty time-consuming process to have to cut everything by hand. Um, yeah, I just, I don't have one of the cutting machines, so I just make do with what I have. So I have everything cut out, um, and I think what I'm gonna do is start from the bottom up. So typically I do to-do lists at the very top, but this week I don't have too, too much going on, so I'm gonna start and put the to-do list at the very bottom. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start putting in the little to-do headers here. of actually being able to cut these out is you can kind of lay it out and see how it looks before you commit to putting it down um, which is not really something you can do if you use the sheets of stickers it's just harder to visualize so the reason I'm using the ombre heart checklist for the weekend is just because this purple just doesn't really go with anything here so I kind of just want to cover up all of that um, but I do actually really like just using the regular heart checklist um, I don't mind a little bit of white space, I think it just gives it a little bit of a cleaner look. So I'm just going to go ahead and put all of that down now. Kind of just want to lay out the other stickers and kind of try to see how the week goes. Um, I have all of these full box stickers. I'm not going to use any of these where you know they have kind of the white in the middle just because actually I might. I might use a couple of them but probably going to mostly be using these more decorative sheets here. Um, I think for all my appointments and all my other things that I have to like meetings and stuff that I have to do I'm probably gonna stick with using these so let me just pull up the calendar I have for that week and I'm kind of just gonna try to lay everything out Okay, 
so I think I have everything laid out. I'm normally not this much of a perfectionist with everything, but just because this is a special week for me, um, I just want it to be as perfect as I can make it. Um, and then just the reason it's kind of special, you know, I know graduation is always a special event, but in particular, I'm graduating from pharmacy school. So this is actually my eighth year of college. I got my Bachelor of Science before I started pharmacy school, and pharmacy school itself is four years. So this has just been a long time coming, and um, it just means a lot to me. So, and hopefully this will be the last graduation I go to, because I don't plan on doing any more school after this. So yeah, that's kind of why it's, you know, particularly special for me. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of put all the stickers down now. Okay, so my camera actually stopped recording because the card was full, so I have no idea where it stopped. It was literally just me putting down stickers though, so honestly I probably didn't miss much. Um, so this page is done. I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I'm going to get to work on the second page now. All right. 